Salam besar Bang Gasna. Hmm. This is always the pose where I decide I'm gonna die it. <laughs> I can see my belly. <laughs> Okay, today not so much breakfast. Very beneficial pose because we're holding upside down for so long, so giving a chance for all that blood to come down out of the legs to the head. All of these closing poses, similar work. Karnapidasana, ear pressure pose. So this closing sequence is always the same once you learn it, regardless of what series you do, you have to do your closing practice all the time. You have to do this sequence of postures. And if you've ever skipped it a few times, then you'll know it's actually really important because you won't feel right for the rest of the day if you don't do the closing sequence. And just like inside of the, uh, the practice, there's all these little sort of uh, mini circuits where you're going into intensity and then slowly backing out of it in a sort of more macro sense for the, the whole practice this is you backing out of the intensity so if you uh, skip them and you get up and walk around you're you're just kind of all wired you haven't really released the pressure that the practice is built up inside Matsyasana. Utnaparasana. Krasna to Shirshasana headstand or head pose. I like head pose better than headstand. It's not really supposed to stand on our heads. Trying to keep the weight in the arms out of the head. Such a beneficial pose if we can hold it for a long period of time. But you have to hold it to get the benefit. If you uh, just come up and come back down again. good things out of the pose. Working up to a, a three hour hold. <laughs> I'm trying to keep the weight out of the crown of the head so it's just lightly pressing into the floor, really pushing into the hands. And you find if you hold it for a while your breath automatically starts to deepen. Nectar in the crown of the head. 
reversing the passage of time in the body. This one's just a mess with you. <laughs> I can see. And then after you spend some time upside down, it's important to rest before you lift your head so you get to let the blood pressure even out. Usually I hold uh, this pose for like half as long as I hold the headstand. I think I've fallen asleep in this pose before actually. <laughs> if you get up early enough, you end up falling asleep in all sorts of different situations. Okay, and now we're in the home stretch, the last three Padmasana postures. Really, it's four. First one is Baddha Padmasana, Bound Lotus. Used to be held, now it's not, so we'll just go straight in. And from there, right away, we go into uh, Yoga Mudra. They really sort of seal the energy in, balance the body out. And just, you can feel yourself. It's kind of getting uh, the poise that you're going to need to finish the practice, you know, to get up and walk away feeling balanced. took me a long time to be able to grab my feet in that pose. Here's Padmasana. Ten breaths here. And then finally, Wutplati. Not even a pose, just an action. <laughs> really uh, kind of pushing all that energy up that we raised during the practice, sealing it in the body. Final effort.
hear closing chant, or it can be a different TV show if you want. You could do the Cheers theme song. Sealing the practice, finishing it. Setting your intentions for the day. gods I'm going through the whole <laughs> was a whole list I always think you know you've raised all this energy when you're practicing so at the end of the practice it's your chance to direct it you kind of uh, figure out where you want to put that energy in the day. It's an auspicious moment. Let's just show off here. At the very end of the practice, usually I would crawl back. <laughs> and that's it. Take rest. Not Shavasana rest. You're just releasing. Listening to the birds. Well, if you uh, watched all that, thank you so much for <laughs> watching it. I hope um, it was helpful. And um, thank you Purple Valley for giving me that beautiful space to practice in. And um, if, uh, if you're thinking about coming to Purple Valley, come when I'm teaching. Come visit. Namaste.